G'day, my name's Rob Messenger. I'm a former state member of Queensland Parliament. I'm also a candidate at the upcoming federal election for the seat of Hinkler. As you know, uh, the Burnett and Fraser Coasts have been the victims of natural disasters. We've had plenty of floods, tornadoes, and many small business owners have been severely affected, uh, affected by those natural disasters. There's two major problems. The first problem is, is that many small business owners have been misled about the amount of government financial assistance that's on offer to them. Many businesses still think that the maximum possible grant that they can receive is $25,000 and the maximum possible loan is $250,000. Now this is being proven to be incorrect. The Premier of the state has come out after a little bit of political pressure and doubled the grants to $50,000 and also increased the loans, the concessional loans, to $650,000. Many small businesses aren't aware of that fact and they need to um, be informed of it so that they can make proper business plans and recovery plans based on the best financial information. The second problem that exists right now is that many businesses, small businesses on the Burnett and Fraser Coast have been denied financial assistance. They've rung the appropriate uh, government hotline and been told that because their business wasn't directly affected by flood water, because it wasn't inundated and water didn't come into their premises, that they have been denied all financial assistance. Now this is unfair. Uh, they should be allowed fun government financial assistance just as any other business has been uh, allowed assistance. What's happening right now is that a crisis is very quickly developing and we must find a solution for the problem and a way to remedy that crisis. Uh, a young gentleman, uh, Ashley Abel, who's a, a business owner, he's a, a disabled man, he bought a business uh, uh, restoring cars. He employs about 11 employees. Some of those employees are disabled as well. Ashley told me that he's about to go bankrupt very shortly because he's unable to pay the bills and when he's rung for government assistance he's been denied access to any of those special grants and loans. This problem has to be remedied right now. There's also businesses who've been badly affected by the lack of natural gas uh, supplied to their business because the natural gas lines for the northern areas were cut off during the flooding. Uh, businesses such as that those sorts of businesses need to be allowed access to government financial assistance. If we don't deal with this, this crisis right now, there are going to be many people, small business owners and their employees, who will be out of a job, uh, struggling just to put the food on, on the table and look after their families and then be on the dole. The government can save those small businesses right now by immediately Making, making it easier for them and qualifying them for financial assistance. I'd hope that you listen to the phone call uh, with Ashley and I that I had earlier this morning. It's a very, very important phone call and I look forward to you helping Ashley and many other Fraser Coast and Burnett businesses out. About 80% of my business is restoring classic motor cars. Um, the first week of the floods, um, I lost a whole year's worth of work. Um, people are scared, I suppose, and they got money. That they got other things to worry about, spending money on restoring cars. So um, my business is part of the part of getting the water. Yeah, that's correct. I, I got hurt um, badly in an industrial accident, uh, severe back injury. Uh, I applied for over 100 jobs, couldn't get one, so I used my payout uh, through work cover to buy to buy a business so that I had an income and a future. So it's going to be pretty hard, you know, if you have to shut your business down, then go out onto the open job market and try and get a job. Yeah, look, I, I don't think I'll ever get a job, and um, what, what I have got, I'll, I'll lose. Is, uh, I've got no alternative but to declare bankrupt if I um, if I close the business down. Um, the future's pretty bleak, really. So you're fighting for your business and also your family's future. I also employ um, disabled staff. Uh, a lot of my staff come through the Steps program, um, have, have learning disabilities, and. Um, they never would have entered into the job market without someone like me. Ashley, you've um, applied to QRA. Do you just want to talk to me about the, the steps you've taken to try and contact QRA and the response you've had? Uh, firstly, I rang them um, just to find out what assistance was available. 
um, they told me bluntly that um, because I wasn't, I, I have no direct damage, as in um, uh, plant equipment or building damage, that I didn't qualify. I asked the question, what I do with my staff, um, and the guy actually said to sack them and send them to Centrelink. Oh my god. That was the response, so, <laughs> yeah. And that was from the local Kira people, or? or, or the uh, no, it was the 1800 number, 1800 623 946. Right. Uh, I have spoken to the local guys down here at the, um, at the business development centre. Yep. Um, he's aware of what's happening to small businesses like mine that didn't get directly damaged as such, but his hands are tied. There's nothing that they, you know, there's nothing at the moment available. So what would you like Mr Newman do, the, the Premier, and, and for that matter, Tony Abbott and the, and the Prime Minister to do? Uh, uh, offer some assistance to businesses like mine. I mean, um, you know, I don't want to just give us the money, but, you know, uh, give us access to some low interest loans so that we can get through it. Uh, I've been speaking to several businesses through town and we anticipate that the next three to four months there's probably going to be a couple of thousand people that are going to join the dole queue because these businesses just aren't going to survive. Now, there's 11 of us in my business alone. Jeez. There's a false understanding in the community or the broader community that um, because they've announced QRA loans that everyone's okay. Uh, yeah, there, there is. Um, there's actually a, 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 a piece in today's paper where I was interviewed uh, last week by a local um, business that I spoke to and they said that they were going to be Oh yeah, and this needs to be acted on very quickly. Yeah, yeah I've got probably till, uh, not this Friday coming, um, but the following Friday, um, and then I've got to make a serious decision whether to, um, to close the doors or walk away or wait until somebody takes me out, basically. I can't pay my creditors, I can't pay my, my uh, staff for wages. Yep. I can't even pay the, the lease on my, um, on my pre business premises at the moment, so I'm running out of time very quickly.